Okay, welcome to this tutorial, and in this video I'm showing you how to make a scrolling nav bar, or a scrolling bar, and uh, what that is, is uh, it's, if you've ever been to Develop PHP or even Facebook for that matter, on Develop PHP there's the top bar at the very top of the page, where it's got the Develop PHP logo on one side and the search bar on the other side, how that bar is always at the top of the screen, no matter where you are scrolling on the page. It's also the same thing on Facebook, that down here, you have your little friends list pop-up menu, you click it, and no matter where you are on the page where you're scrolling, that is always there. So let me show you how to make that. Uh, this isn't a PHP tutorial, it's all HTML and CSS. Um, it's a very useful thing to know. I've gotten a few requests for it, but uh, uh, but some people just haven't don't understand how to make it, and uh, some people in the forums at uh, Develop PHP were requesting it, so uh, they are having trouble with it, so I'm making a tutorial. Um, so right here we have a standard page that if you're using Dreamweaver uh, you can create a page and this is the content that comes inside of the page except for this right here this is where the title is I just changed the title um, and uh, so yeah and like always the source code will be available for download in the description so um, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, well yeah well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a div and uh, we're going to end the div. Now, if you've ever used a div before, essentially what it is, it's just a box. And the box can contain whatever text you want. And we'll just say this is the text for the top nav bar. So, just something simple. Um, so, we're going to give our div an ID of. Uh, I guess just top nav, and that's all. Now you could also give this a class, so you can give it a class, but uh, you really only need one or the other. And uh, if you're going to be doing this for only a few things, I recommend doing a div. But if you're going to be doing this for a lot of different uh, elements on your website, then definitely make it a class because it's a little bit easier to just say whatever it is and class equals and your class name. Um, so if I just refresh the page you see we just have this text right here and there's nothing special about it all it does is it just shows us text now that's really boring and there's, you really just congratulations you displayed text on the page it's uh, real simple but uh, uh, so we're gonna go up here inside of our head tags right here and I'm gonna go beneath the title here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create uh, a, a CSS internal CSS it's only going to be available to this page uh, and later on in the video after we're done I'll show you how to make it so you can put it on an external uh, CSS page to have it as a separate file so uh, we want to type in here we want to say style and we want to say type equals and right here where I have single quotation marks you can put double doesn't really matter you want to say text slash CSS and then you want to come down a line or two and you want to end the style now what style the style tags are for is to basically have internal CSS on your page. Now if you've ever uh, worked with CSS, everything it's the same exact syntax if you're using it within a .css file, a cascading style sheet, or if you're using it internally on each page. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to create our uh, our ID for our uh, our top nav. We want to style it. Now if you're creating an ID in uh, CSS you want to type in the pound symbol but if you're creating a class you want to put a dot so since we're using an ID we want to put in a pound symbol and we called it top nav and then you want to put in your brackets these are curly brackets and then just like that so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say background dash color and it does exactly what it says it sets a background color for the page or for this, uh, this specific element and I'm just going to go with a dark gray. So if we refresh the page, you can see we now have this, well, light gray. Uh, make it a little bit darker. So now we have this dark gray box that's going from uh, our entire browser um, from one side to the other, except for this little space in between here um, and in between there. Uh, but I'm going to add a little bit of height to it. Or better yet, I'll just throw in padding. Padding and uh, we'll just say 10 pixels so what that's just going to do is just uh, it's going to give us a 10 pixel padding so a little spacer 
from every single side. So, so uh, to prove to you that this will be able to scroll, we haven't done the actual coding for the scrolling yet, but uh, we'll get to that in a moment. So, I'm just going to throw in some text and uh, something random, and uh, I'm going to copy it and just paste it a bunch of times. That should be good enough. So if we refresh, we now have this uh, this text. I'm going to add more to get a better scrolling uh, distance. So we have a bunch of text, and we have a scroll bar now, so we can scroll. Uh, but our box just sits up there. Now, to make it so it doesn't just sit up there, we want to come back to our CSS area right here. And we want to set a uh, position. And we want to set the position to fixed. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to set the uh, starting position, essentially, of where we want our box to be. So we w we're going to set the top to zero. So if we refresh our page, you can see it now. It kicks it up there. And uh, so we don't have any space in between there. And if we scroll, you can see the text moving. We're scrolling. Our box is always there. But now we have this space in between here. And this doesn't go all the way across anymore. So to fix that. We want to set a left to zero, and what that's going to do, it's going to set this left area, it's going to set it to zero, so it's going to be all the way against the browser side there. And then we want to set a width, and we're going to set the width to 100%, so that's going to stretch it across the entire browser. So now we have this scrolling effect, so it's working. And uh, now what we want to do is, that's essentially how to make it. Um, now, you can change these. Uh, if you want this to be on the bottom, you want to set the bottom to zero. And you want to keep the left to zero uh, always to make sure it's all the way against this side. So now it's on the bottom after we refresh and we're scrolling, and it's still there. So obviously it's working. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, so if we put it back up to the top, so we have the top set to zero. Now, if you want to have this, say, like somewhere down here on the page, so it's not on the top, but it's just always on the page, you can just set the top to, like, 100. And what that's going to do is it's going to set this area, it's going to set it 100 pixels down from the top of the browser. So, that's... So, if we set it to 100 pixels, you can see it kicks it down here. So, this is 100 pixels down from the page. So, you can set this to, like, 500 or something which I don't know why you would do something like this, but you can. So it's always there on the page. Uh, so it's wherever you set these, these uh, values to. So uh, back at the top. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's just a quick tutorial. Um, and you can also have multiple areas if you wanted. So you could have a top nav, and then down here at the bottom, you could have a bottom nav. For the, and this is the text for the bottom nav. And all you have to do is you just copy that CSS, and you set this to bottom nav, and we're going to set the bottom to zero pixels. So if we refresh, we have the top up there and the bottom down here. They're scrolling. We still have these both in the same spot. So you can have as many of these as you wanted. And if you wanted to, you could uh, set the height to 100, which kind of gives it this weird effect where it'll cover up the entire page, which is kind of funny. So we're going to set the height to 100%. Uh, percent. And what that does is just covers up the entire page with this uh, this text. It's kind of kind of weird, but it's, yeah, it's programming. Um, so we have our bars made now. Um, so I guess that's the end of this tutorial, just a quick little tutorial. Um, so thanks for watching.